This is my intro song. It isn't very long. That's all. Go ahead. Go on, watch the video. Welcome and bienvenue. Welcome to Berry Cute Nails, my lovely good diamond cubs. I hope everybody's doing fabulous. Today we're going to be knocking out these bear claws and we're going to make them very cute. Just like this set. You remember this set? It's still looking mad cute, right? She cute. So yeah, we need to get rid of these gorilla paw on the right side. So today we're going to be using the Email Couture Beautiful Almond Chips. I'm using the Patty Gel Top Coat Base Coat by Long Hair Pretty Nails. Miss Evie, what a fabulous product. I'm gonna be using some of her Evie Long Hair Pretty Nails Patty Gel and Clear. I'm also gonna be using to apply it her Patty Gel brush. Ain't it cute? She cute, right? I know, right? And of course, for my prep, my beautiful Model 1's dehydrator. And my, uh, we just need to fix that a little bit. And my Young Nails Protein Bond, also known as a primer. Or that beautiful double-sided tape. We're going to be using Enail Couture's Bubblegum Gel. In cool pink it's cool it's so cool it's such a cute little little tub it looks like a little cauldron like I'm all witchy poo it's such a cute color I love it so this is my second one from him I have the pink and I have the cool pink so eventually, maybe I'll get the other colors that he has available because they are very nice. And maybe, maybe I might be using some foils with Enel Couture's Maxi Foil Gel. That's a maybe. That's a maybe. And I was maybe thinking of using these foils. I'm gonna emphasize the word maybe. <laughs> so yeah. And I'm also gonna be using the fabulous McCart rhinestone glue to affix any blingatries that I seem fit, deem fit. All right, so you know the drill. We are gonna be picking out our sizes. So we're gonna, you know, Pop open this bag and just you know, dump it all out. You know, just yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Just mm -hmm. all over the place. All right, so just start flipping them around just so I can see the numbers. If y'all are regular viewers, y'all know when I use these tips, they're pretty much all the same size. Um, so I just go through grabbing the ones that I know I'm going to need or possibly need because as we all know. We need these tips to fit sidewall to sidewall without having to force them down too hard. We do not want them to be too small where it does not cover the entire nail bed. We don't want it too big that it's overlapping onto your um, the skin folds, the sidewalls. So if by any chance you do come into a situation where you find yourself in the middle of a size, Never go down, always round up, and just use a hand file and do some hand filing. And you can customize that up for you, Zool. And it'll fit your finger. So I have my tips all laid out. So as you know, cleanliness is next to godliness. So I'm gonna take all my little baggies all zero to 11 and just shove them right back in that bag because I need to keep everything closed sealed and 
safe and put together. So, you know how we do. If y'all have checked out my videos before, so at this point, we will be etching the inside of our tips. So etching the inside of the tips because they are smooth on the inside creates a rough surface, which provides some something to hold on to for whatever adhesive you're going to be using, whether it's a uh, builder in a bottle, um, poly gel, uh, acrylic, any, uh, acrylic, anything, you know. So it just helps, especially for that tip to just hold on to whatever you're using. So yeah, tips don't go flying off and popping people in the face. Man, y'all remember, um, y'all remember Baby's Kids? That movie from back in the day, Baby's Kids? When she had them, she had them press on nails and she was just like playing with her finger and they just went. <laughs> and them nails was just popping off so quick, child. Too much. So yeah, I just go through and I'm just me, 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 me. Taking off the shine in the area where I know that I will be applying my um, adhesive. In this case today, I will be doing the full tip because I want these to be strong. Now, these tips are strong by themselves. Once you apply them, they have good strength to them once they're on. However, you know, y'all have seen, I got these two big old Barneys, these two pit bulls. So I like for extra strength. So there's a less possibility of bending. I like to follow the Femi Beauty or Lazy Girl, or in this case, Lazy Bear method and fill up the entire tip and cure that for added strength. So I'm gonna go through and buff out the rest of those. So here we're back. All of them have been buffed. The shine has been taken off, darling. I'm so sorry, the shine is gone. All right, so now we're gonna do a quick little prep. So again, we take our Model 1's Nail Prep Dehydrator. This will remove all the excess oils, excess moisture, anything that will inhibit the adhesion of that glue or adhesive gel to the tip and to your nail bed. And I like my nail beds so thirsty. Let me tell you, again, throwing it back. Oh yeah, y'all remember um there was an episode I think of Ren and Stimpy where Ren was just like in the desert just dying of just thirst. That's what I want my nails to look like. Because I want everything I put on them to stick. Doll. I want it to stick. I want retention. I want it to stay there until I say move. Like Beyonce said, move, 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 move. Yeah, you better move, move. Anything you do will be held against you. Oh, that's my girl. I know I got some Beyonce fans in the audience. So yeah, just going through making sure they're nice and dehydrated. And a little dry. So bam. Let that dry a little bit. It's very fast. And then we apply a nice thin layer of our Young Nails Protein Bond, also be known as Nail Primer. Uh, this is an essential step for real, like legit. If you want your nails to last longer than a couple days. Because this stuff works as a great double-sided tape. 
as soon as you put this on, it will adhere to whatever you're putting it on and whatever you place on top of it will adhere very well. And I highly recommend the Young Nails brand. Again, a little asterisk disclaimer. I am not a professional nail tech. I am a DIY nail enthusiast who happens to have some medical training. <laughs> I am a pharmacy tech. Um, so again, do not follow everything exactly to the book that I do. Always follow, you know, a professional's routine, um, whatever is your tried and true method. I'm just showing y'all what I do what works for me and what I like. That's all. I just gotta add that because I don't need nobody coming up and be like, God, I did what you said. And now look, I don't need none of that. <laughs> so we're just drying a little bit of that protein bond. It gets a little tacky. And then we're just gonna go in with a second coat. Some people do one, I do two, just because I personally feel that it really does help for the duration of the adhesion. Right, for sure, for sure. The one thing I wish, I wish Young Nails would make a little bigger bottle because this tiny little applicator i can barely hold it with these mat with these big old gorilla hands i got all right be back okay we're back we are primed and dry we are going to be using and grabbing our one two three go bubblegum gel from email couture in bubblegum pink I'm gonna grab my nice little goose neck lamp that I use for flash curing. As you can see, bing, bing, boom. So I use this just to flash cure once I apply and the nail is on. I put, a, I put it under the lamp just so it can start to harden and affix to my nail just enough that it's not wiggling around. I am using this solid gel as you can see, so I'm using the actual nail tip to scoop it up. So this stuff does not move. So in reality, I could just put this on all my nails and then straighten everything out and go into the full lamp. However, I'm mad clumsy. So I know for sure that if I started and did that, that by the time I got to my last finger, that last finger will be bending over to the left. And I don't want that. So, yeah. So remember, we're filling up the entire tip with the gel. This day is not as hot as the last time because I remember when I did the left hand. Whoo! That paper towel, I had wiped my hands so much from how much of that stuff got on my finger, the bubblegum gel, but it's a little cooler in Central Florida. So it's actually working for me good today. So I'm just gonna go around, clean up Flatten that out, trying to do a little divot a little bit, trying to, you know, sp spread it and make sure it covers all the areas of the nail. Yeah, so you see. I mean, it's very simple. I mean, you see me moving my hand. If I was using a builder in a bottle, like the little brush on gel X type of situation, I would not be able to have that tip on without any sort of curing because it would not, it would pop right off because of how viscous the gel is. It's very, 
it's not a thick viscosity, it's thin. So this stuff helps tremendously. If you're a beginner, if you're a pro who wants to get a set done in record number of time, this is for you. You see, we just put that on. Bam, mira que cute. Oh my God, Argentina. Dímelo, mira que linda. C'est très belle. J'adore. So you see, I'm just going in there. Since it's the whole tip and not just the part that I'm in heat, um, the nail bed part, I'm, you know, going a little extra under the flash. So it's not necessarily a flash. It's more like a, I don't know, what's longer than a flash? Um, slow release? No, let me stop. I'm not even gonna get, try to figure that out. But yeah, since it's a long, um, since I'm doing it, applying it to the entire, um, one, two, three, go nail tip, I am just, you know, letting it sit under that gooseneck lamp a little longer than I normally do, just so any gel can harden up in there until we do the rest. So I hope everybody's doing fabulous. And I really wanna thank everybody that has already subscribed to Barry Q Nails and has commented and has liked. I have seen them all. I comment back to everyone. I thank you so, so much. Everybody has been so kind, so helpful with tips and other things that might be in, you know, helpful for me um, in terms of editing or whatever the case is. Everybody has just been so kind and helpful and definitely a big heart and love. Shout out to the YouTube Barry Q Nails community. And if you have somebody that you know that might be interested in big old me and my Barry Q Nail self, then maybe you can share my page. You know, just post it on your Facebook feed or on your Instagram or your Snapchat or whatever the kids are doing these days. And, you know, share and help. Help a queen out. And let's get these numbers up and let's build this community so we can have an even bigger 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 bear hug with everybody in the world around the world because y'all are all awesome all right so we are finishing up and just me 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 yes scanning a little under and just doing that. Look at that. Just that little flash cure, strong. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the rest. Honey, we are back. We are finishing up on that thumb. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It works great. Awesome consistency. And now we're going in the lamp for a full two minutes. Two minute. Dos minutos. And I did that on the top and with my hand flipped over since I did the full tip with the glue. I wanted the entire thing to make sure and it's cured. Oh, I'm tired of somebody did that. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I had to come back. Try one of my dogs just threw up. Girl. Ooh. I started hearing something, I was like, oh no. Oh, all right, so I had to clean that up. You never know, dogs are like children. All of a sudden they vomiting and pooping everywhere. 
He all right though. He doing all right. Anyway, let's get back to why we here, Zol. So I'm gonna take my e-file. We're gonna place the lovely five in one bit. Yas, queen. And what we are gonna do is we are going to quote unquote seal le cuticle. <laughs> Seal the cuticle, as some people say, or basically make the cuticle area look more natural. We want to make it look more flushed. We want to make it look like these tips are growing directly out of these God-given phalanges, darling, these fingers. So we're just going to go in at maybe an 8, 9, 10, possibly 1,000 RPM. And we're just gonna go around the perimeter of that nail, side wall, the cuticle area, and then the other side wall, just to make sure everything looks nice, blended, and seamless. Because, I mean, nobody cares. Well, let me rephrase that. Some people will care and will want to make a big deal if you're wearing false nails. But you know what? Ain't nobody care. I don't care. You don't pay my bills. You don't choose what I do be. Back it up. So, yeah. So, we're just going to keep doing is going around the edges and totally making them flush look at that that nail the legs grow right out my finger i grew that i eat my vitamins every day and that is natural so again still having a little problems with you know keeping my hand in frame because my eyesight is not the best and I need to have <laughs> my finger needs to be literally like an inch and a half away from my face while I'm doing this sometimes because I be I just can't see and I'm already wearing them they like to call them progressives but they bifocals child I wear bifocals and I still have problems so as you can see we're just going to continue and do the same process with the rest of the fingers and we'll be back bienvenue à tous mes amis bienvenido a todos mis amistades welcome back to all of my friends we are done sealing the cuticle quote unquote we're gonna take the cuticle bit and this will be more a of a detailed version of what we just did getting into those nooks and crannies so now we all done with that I'm done with my lovely cuticle bit and now we're going in with what our sanding band I got these, this bag of sanding bands and it comes in different colors, um, but they're all 180 grit. So I'm gonna turn this up to maybe like a six or seven, and I'm just gonna go along and buff the entire nail before that, of course, I am going around the edges again, doing another little cleanup. Make sure anything that I did previously with either, any of the other previous more abrasive bits, um, I'm just smoothing that out. Because we like it smooth, yeah. Give me your heart, make it real, or else forget about it. You remember that song, Smooth, by Santana and Rob Thomas? That's a good one. I don't know why every time that song comes on, I gotta overemphasize it because you know how everybody all the 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 more indie type artists back in the 90s they sang like that uh i think ted you remember that, that movie ted 
he made a song he made a joke about it in the first movie he was like yo you remember how everybody back in the 90s sang like this and i was like i'm a mess and you, you hear those tip tip tips that's my penny hi baby hi mommy my babies always wanting some attention always wanting some attention from the daddies my it is a child it is currently three in the morning i have not had a good night's sleep <laughs> so i'm like let me do this hubby is asleep Thank goodness. I hope he has a beautiful night's sleep. And while I'm doing this, here with the babies, keeping them, a, uh, keeping them company, hanging out with y'all, checking out some of my work, and we hanging out together, y'all. We the middle of the night nail crew. Chicka chicka yeah. <laughs> that was terrible. I'm so cringeworthy. I'm sorry. That was from the movie Super Bad. <laughs> so yeah. So let me just clean all this off. I got all this dust and this mashagana all over. So now my oh, I love this part, y'all. Y'all know I love this part. I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol, 91% isopropyl alcohol. And we are just going to shoop, 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 and shoop, 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 shoop. We are going to do that on the, um, the top and on the bottom of the nail. The top specifically brushing away from the cuticle and towards the cuticle, getting out any trapped little particles of dust that may have been you know lodged in there during any of those steps of filing um also using it on the underneath of the nails because there is a light tacky layer that i like to get rid of and you know what we're going back in again you know why because i feel like it i love this step it feels so refreshing and it's like you just shaved your entire body and you feel like a dolphin gliding through the Caribbean waters. <laughs> so we have done that to the entire hand and to the entire set. We are air drying and doing mm, crazy hand maneuvers and possibly some voguing possibly some macarena to dry those nails <laughs> to dry off all that alcohol so we are here at the moment we are adding patty gel base coat I love this packaging so much look y'all have seen the video Y'all saw the video. I unpacked this. I still keep these bottles in that box. I know that's crazy, but you know what? These bottles and the packaging is so pretty. I don't want to break it apart. So you know what? I'm going to keep them in the box. And I have another box of backup in the drawer. <laughs> Along with some other color colors of patty gel that I ordered, so I'm very excited. So, Evie, always supporting my girl. Support small businesses, y'all. I know we all love dealing with the huge companies, but if you find a content creator that you enjoy and they have a product line, give it a try. And the worst thing that'll happen is that you don't like it. But if you like the content creator, give them a try. Give the products a try and then promote it. 
share, make a video about it, make a little quick Instagram clip, something. Support each other. You know, I know that a lot of YouTubers get discouraged and I'm not gonna lie, I've gotten discouraged as well. You know, I've only been doing this a short time, but you know, you hustle and you hustle and you spend time sending your link and a brief description of what you're aiming to do to people. And you know, that's all it is. You know, it's one-to-one -one marketing, trying to get your name out there to the best of your ability. You know, but sometimes people don't reciprocate and that's when it gets really disheartening. Cause like, come on, man, you know, I, I gave you a like, I gave you a follow, you know, I I shared your post on it on Facebook, let's say. How come you can't do the same? But expectations lead to disappointments. Y'all heard that? expectations lead to disappointments so you gotta restructure your thinking and change your expectations and take it day by day and with those that have chosen to be here with me i thank you so much bless you all and i'm sending love to you all all right, so we are going in with this beautiful Evie Patty Gel long hair, pretty nails, base coat. She nice and thick. Look at that. Lovely. In the lamp for one minute. All right, so we got that lovely base coat cured. So we got that aside. So now we got the email couture gummy jelly all right so i'm not sure if y'all seen from today's the title of today's video crushed green stone and gold so this is my little nod to saint patrick's day nails i did not want to be you know do the normal shamrocks you know four leaf clovers bright bright green leprechauns little hats shoes things like that so i wanted to do a little something out of the box so hubby and i went to a craft store the other day and i found some pretty cool stones that are broken up and very shiny. I think you can kind of see them already on the top right hand of the screen in the top vial next to the little metal piece. So they're little stones and they're very irregular sized. Nothing is the same. <laughs> so I was like, let me try to use a little maybe unconventional material on my nail. So we doing some crafts though. We doing some party city, hobby lobby, Mike. You know, we doing some. So we're taking that glue and the gummy jelly. Rub that and painted that over the entire nail. As you can see the lovely green flakes. So right here, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. <laughs> How best to get this on my nail? So you're gonna see my thought process. And as I'm looking back at this, this was dumb. Why did I think this was gonna work? <laughs> In an efficient manner. <laughs> Yo, I swear. So what I'm doing <laughs> is I'm, t I'm like pinching a f like a few pieces of the rock and I'm kind of like, just spreading it on my thumb. Now I'm noticing that it's a little more difficult to grab out of the vial. So I poured some into the lid. I'm sorry, I'm off camera. You will see what I did. 
eventually. And I think here I'm giving up because I'm like, this is not it. So you're about, you're about to see me just go buck wild. Buck wild. So there is gummy jelly all over my finger. So I'm going in and literally sprinkling these rocks over my finger. And I'm taking the tweezers. Like, it just look crazy. I, look at my little workstation. <laughs> so I, I'm taking the, um, the back end of the tweezers and I'm just going along and running them along the sides of the nail because I am going to encapsulate this, but I don't want any pieces like really sticking out far on the sides because you know we want a nice thin looking nail we don't want a really bulky looking nail so i'm just going along the edges to make sure you know the nail shape is still there so there you see like you see y'all see what i'm trying to go for like i'm trying to use the stones kind of like the little crushed rock kind of like as a a fancy glitter. And so I'm just trying to maneuver some and just put it under the lamp in flash cure. All right, I have to, so I already put that in there for a minute. All right, so, all right, so we got the first one done. It's looking weird, <laughs> but we're, we're, we're running with this idea. Okay, we're running with the idea. We are not changing our minds midway. So for this middle nail, I decided three of them. I'm gonna do something with these crushed rocks. So for this middle nail, I wanted to make it more like a, hmm, like an emerald river flowing down my nail. That sounds so corny. <laughs> oh, I just did a little swoop, a little swoop. So you see, I'm just starting by the cuticle and I'm just going up the nail. And on the pinky, I'm doing the same thing I did on the thumb, which was cover the entire nail with the gummy jelly. And I love this product. It works very well to hold whatever you're placing on your nail in place. And I have not had any pop-offs since I started using that gummy jelly. So here's what I decided to do. <laughs> I was like, all right, pouring it over didn't work. I'm gonna just stick my finger in. <laughs> I promise you I was not one of those kids that stuck my finger in a light socket. But I was one of those kids that stuck my finger inside of a back in the day cigarette lighter in a car. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, aside from the little mess I've made, <laughs> the nails, you know, were coated in the manner I wanted. So, you know, I did that pinky, the entire pinky was covered with it. And then, what are my dogs doing? Child, it is four something in the morning. It's four in the morning. Why are y'all making so much noise? Anyway, so uh, aside from the mess I've made, I'm just going through doing the same thing that I did with that first. Um, that first finger using the end of that like dotting tool going along the edges, keeping sure, making sure that the shape of the nail is still good. Hey, my baby Jack, see, okay? He's the one that, he's the one that threw up. I oh, know my baby. All right, so you see now I'm doing the middle finger. So this is the, the finger I did the little swoop. I did the little swoop. So now you can see kind of the vibe I'm trying to go for. Simple, chic, 
nature green <laughs> and nude color with that pink. I think the pink and green go, to, go well together. So I put those in the lamp for a full minute just so the gummy jelly can harden up and those tiny little crystals will hopefully, you know, hold on good. All right, so I'm just taking a little bit of the alcohol, cleaning up little areas around my cuticles because those stones kind of went everywhere. I'm going around with a little orange wood stick and just making sure any pieces that kind of are sticking out weirdly, you know, are just, you know, they gone. So, so you, you can kind of see, look at the particles. So you see, they're very 3D-ish. You know, they do stick up. But I think they're cute. I don't know. This was like my random little, like, random thing. <laughs> what y'all think? Be right back. All right, honey. So, we went ahead and we did off camera. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I went ahead and we did some encapsulation. So I do apologize for doing that off camera. I did go over and place some patty gel over each of those nails that I had those crushed up stones and I just patted the patty gel down to get a nice good coating covering all of the stones and to encapsulate the entire nail and I cured that for a full two minutes so I'm very sorry I did not do that off I did that off camera so I'm sorry I didn't film it but we're taking our 80 80 hand 80 80 grit hand file <laughs> and we're just going around and we are sharpening up the edges because with the encapsulation and with some of the irregularities of some of the shapes of the stones i felt that it distorted the shape of it um not only in the shape of the nail in terms of the left and right side but also, you know, it did create a, like a weird bulkiness to the top. So I'm really going in with that 8080 hand file to make sure the surface is as smooth as possible. And of course, this is all off camera. I'm as mad at myself as I know you're probably not, but I'm mad at myself. <laughs> So we're just going in, we're filing, we're filing, we're filing the sides, crispening up the edges, we're filing along the top of the nail as well, buffing out and smoothing out any dips and valleys that we have going on. And that's what we're doing right now. So I'm gonna let this play out really quick and Enjoy the music, I'll be right back.
All right, baby, we are done with the filing. We have used our Dremel bit, gone over the entire nail, smoothed out that surface, sharpened up those edges. Now we going in with, again, my cool refreshing step of taking away all that dust and dirt, oil, anything that's on that nail, we're dehydrating again. We're also getting rid of the dust. So this will help for a good clean top coat gel polish application kiss kiss oh my god look at the, the la do you see on the napkin it looks like a mickey like a mickey like a mickey mouse profile do you see it i mean aside from the nails looking mad cute doesn't it look like a mickey mouse right there to the left of my hand anyway so we are all alcoholed and dried buffed well, no, not buffed. We are buffing now. Now we buffed. Buffed, cleaned, and smooth. So if you can see, it did kind of a cool effect. So those green stones that were crushed were a full green in the bottle when I got them. But then using the, the drill, actually revealed some silver underneath. So I got kind of like a silvery green thing going on. So we also, it's time for bling. Girl, you know we wasn't gonna get nowhere anywhere near the end of this video without a little bling. So for the bling, we're going simple. We're gonna be using these gold kind of copper stud type things. And we are going to be applying with our McCart rhinestone glue. Before we do that, we are gonna be going in with our patty gel base coat again, just to make sure that any little scratches, any dips and valleys that are minor that I might have created by filing, we're gonna make sure that we fill those up and we're gonna get a little glimpse at the ooh la la of how these encapsulated rocks look. So this is like my first little glimpse. I don't know. I thought it came out cute. I liked it. This is my first time encapsulating, really, like a non-conventional material. And it was cool. I liked it. So I'm applying a nice base coat to all my nails. Now this step is not required necessarily because at this point I could have just, you know, top coated and called it a day. But I'm base coating because base coat, I feel, helps level out the playing field, <laughs> as if you want to say. Um, it kind of evens out your nail bed. It does leave a tacky layer, so it does help whatever you're going to be placing on top of that adhere even better so your top coat any stones any other um gel polish if i was going to be using you know would be assisted by applying a base coat so we're just going ahead oh, it just looks so pretty there's something about encapsulated things when you're passing that base coat or whatever or top coat over for the first time after buffing and you see like the shine come through. It's like, oh. <laughs> I love it. All right, so there you go. We finished base coating all of the fingers. We're gonna go into the full lamp, the big girl, for one minute. 
All right, so we're base coated. So now we were taking our gummy jelly and our wax picker tool. Ain't it cute with all those pink little stones in it? It's nice. I think we got it off Timu or Amazon. I think it was Amazon. I don't remember. I have to look. But we got that. And I'm just trying to get everything situated, trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. All right, so I applied the jelly, as you can see, with the brush to my ring finger near the cuticle area. And I'm now applying it on my index finger near the cuticle area. I just take a bit because since, you know, this gummy jelly is pretty stiff, so I just kind of scoop a bit out, kind of tap it onto the nail, kind of like if I was doing, like, some jelly. Like, yeah, literally, like jelly, like if you were putting it on some toast. And I kind of just, you know, spread it around the cuticle area in the shape that I'm going to be placing the stones. Just for ease of use and for, you know, to not put as much of the glue just everywhere. Just cleaning out the brush. That's all I do to clean my brush. I just rub it, you know, dip it in some alcohol and run it back and forth between um, or on a paper towel. And that is just enough. So as you can see, we're picking up those lovely little goldy copper type rhinestones. And we're gonna basically create a little mini cuticle cuff we're taking the largest, putting that in the center of the nail, taking the next smallest, putting that next on either side, and then the next smallest on either side as well. So you see kind of what I was trying to get to here, you know, gold, pot of gold, emerald isle, green, Ireland is known as the rock, these are crushed little rocks on my fingers. <laughs> this is also going to take you back. I'm not sure. Um, I'm part of like the Zoog Disney generation. So that was, you know, late 90s, early 2000s when I was really, you know, hard into watching Disney. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite to this day, favorite shows that's available on Disney Plus right now is called So Weird. This show was perfect for a kid like me back in the day because it was a kid. She was a teenager. She was the daughter of her name was Fee. She was the daughter of a singer um, who uh, her name was Molly Phillips and her dad they had a band together but the dad passed away and now Fee is all into paranormal and supernatural things and one episode Molly or the mom goes to visit their dad and they're Irish and he mentions they call it the rock so I'm like hmm this might be a cute little connection so we're in the lamp and now we're out the lamp so we see, now we got our little gold on our two fingers. Now we're taking our patty gel top coat. That beautiful, thick, she thick. That is a thick beauty. That is a thick queen, that top coat. Now we're taking that thick, beautiful top coat and we are going to cover all of our nails. You know, start near the cuticle, run it all the way around the nail. Make sure to um, cap off the free edge of the nail, which is the tip of the fingertip, basically, of the nail. You want to basically run your brush around the edge of that. Kind of like, like you know, you want to cap it off as if you're, you know, topping off a sundae. And 
that helps prevent any chipping. It helps prevent any lifting of polish. I've never had it happen, but then again, I've always just done that. So maybe I've just never had to experience it, which is awesome. But yeah, so we're going around top coating. When we get to the fingers that have the gold stones by the cuticle, um, since this is such a thick top coat and it's awesome, I just let it kind of flow back onto the stones a little bit. And then I just take the brush and glide that beautiful top coat from the cuticle down to the free edge, coating the entire thing. This will produce a beautiful, durable, shiny top coat that will make your manicure shine like diamond in the sky. Just like all of you. Every single one of y'all that comment and subscribe to this channel are my diamonds. Y'all are so valuable to me. And I'm so happy you're here. So we're finishing up on this top coat. Doing a little zhuzh zhuzh when we get to the stones. That's a little extra security because we already did cure those stones down with the gummy jelly from Email Couture. But, you know, putting some of this top coat, letting it glide between the stones as well as even on top, I feel, you know, of course, is going to give it extra security, extra shine. Me personally, when it's small stones like this, I have no problem capping them with a top coat. When you have really large stones, then it can get kind of difficult. <laughs> but in this case, we good. All right, top coat's on. We're going in the lamp for a full two minutes. All right, dolls, look at that. We are top coated, honey. Hold on, focus, girl. So look at that. All right, we're grabbing our what? Cuticle oil. I love me some cuticle oil. Use it at least twice a day. Keeps those cuticles looking nourished, keep them looking healthy. And at the end of a manicure, it gives that bam. I just got my nails done. What you do today <laughs> gives you that nice little last ooh la la. So we're going ahead, applying that beautiful cuticle oil, rubbing it all in. Look at that sparkle. All right. And let's wait for the reveal, honey. Look at that. Yeah, I cut myself a little bit, but I don't care. I love how it came out. Look at it, use some unconventional materials, my little Eevee top coat and my encapsulation. Honey, it came out cute, I think. But thank you so much, y'all, for being here today. I love y'all so much. Please subscribe, like, I love y'all. Sending you love, light, and kisses. I'll see y'all next time. Bye, my lovelies.